Hi y'all, Abe here, and welcome back to the channel. Here's hoping you and yours, as always, are doing well. Today, my continuing coverage of my adventures in Horizon 11, we tackle Mission 2-3, The Three Kingdoms, from the Federation of Windurst. At the time of recording, I am a level 33 monk, and our rank bar is full. With all that said, let's pop in. Let's see what we can get into. Let's talk to Boomer here. Let's see what she has to say. All right, so we're taking the three kingdoms. Accept the mission. You came at just the right time. We just received a request for help in a large-scale mission from Heaven's Tower. But we're short on adventurers to dispatch just now. The Secretary of Heaven's Tower will explain what this mission entails. Proceed there immediately. All right, so we're heading off to Heaven's Tower, the seat of government for the Federation of Windurst. So let's make our way to Windurst Walls, enter the tower, into the rear, and speak with Kapupi. Welcome to Heaven's Tower. Are you the adventurer who came for your mission orders? You're rank two. This next mission is really, really important and will test your abilities in many different ways. I'm not sure that someone of your rank will be able to handle it. And you are... Do you know Lady Simi Lafina? Kupupi, what business does he have here? He is here to accept the mission from Heaven's Tower, but he's still only rank two. I don't need the details, Kupupi. Show me his file. This is a nice resume. It seems as if you fight better than you look, and it also seems that today is not your day. Kupupi, process this adventurer's mission papers. You lay his orders to him and give him a letter to the consuls. Hmm. Understood? I can sense many good things within you. Let's see how you manage this new task. Kapupi, I'll leave the rest to you. Okay. Yes, now, where was I? According to the pact constructed by the three countries, Windurst is allowed a consulate in both Bastok and Sandoria. Your next mission is to travel to the consulates in these two countries and gather any information you can. Which country you travel to first is up to you. You may receive various tasks from them, so use that as a means of gathering useful information. When you have learned something interesting, return back here to Windus with your report. The quickest way to get to either of the two countries is by the ferry that departs from Mora. Do you have any questions? Uh, I got it the first time. Don't forget that Windus is a neutral country set on maintaining peace. No matter what you are told in these other countries, you must remember that Windurst is not about to get involved in another great war. Alrighty. So we obtained a letter to the consuls, and now it is time to proceed to either Bastok or Sandoria to continue on the mission. Which one is entirely up to you, but... Before we need to decide, we need to get to Mora regardless. So head out the Leviathan Gate, into Tarogan Canyon, into the Buburimo Peninsula, into Mora, get on the ferry, and get to Selbina. And what's in Selbina, we need to decide whether we're going to Sandoria or Bastok. In my case, since we are unable to procure a Chocobo here in Selbina, I'm just going to walk to Sandoria first and handle the mission there. So zone out of Selbina into Valcom Dunes, into Lathane Plateau, into West Rumfour, and into Sandoria. I'm going to take the northernmost entry, so it'll take me right to Northern Sandy. Once in Sandoria, we need to make our way to the consulate, which of course is in Northern Sandoria. And there's clearly a Windus banner right here. So enter the consulate, and if you wish, get a refresh on your signet. If you didn't know, War Warlocks Station and Consulates can give you a fresh signet as well as being able to offer conquest items if you need them. Once ready, speak to the receptionist. You've come on orders for the homeland, have you? You should speak with Consul Casaroro. Really? You don't say. Thank you. You come all this way from Winders, have you? I'm Lion, a traveling adventurer, you might say. Have you heard? The orcs have a new forward base in Gelzaba, to the northwest. 
Now their greedy eyes are turned towards this land. Orcs are cruel and violent. They attack wayfarers on the road and steal children. All to inspire terror in the Sandorian people. But there's one thing that just doesn't make sense. Orcs never were known for their craft, but they carry even better armor and weapons lately. I suspect there's someone behind the orcs pulling the strings, if you get me. Someone has to figure out their plans and take action before this country falls to an orcish invasion. People whisper in the streets of trouble in the royal house. They should focus what's outside their walls first, if you ask me. Well, I don't expect things will be getting any easier around here for a while yet. But you take care, all the same. Alright, that was Lion, everybody. And rest assured, we will see her again. Once the cutscene's completed, head to the back room and speak to the consul. Greetings, Axon. I am Consul Kasaroru. Let me tell you about current events here in the kingdom of Sandoria. Beastmen known as orcs steadily grow in number outside Sandoria. They have set up a forward base in Gelsaba, northwest of Sandoria, and it is from here that they plan to launch an invasion. Orcs love battle, but they aren't the brightest bunch. There's just one thing. It seems their armor and weapons have been improving by the day. Now they're using traps and bows too. I and a few others think that there is somebody behind these orcs supplying them with the goods and calling the shots. But there's not enough to go on right now. If it were up to me, I'll send you to Gelsipa Pronto. But this is Sandoria, and missions are their jurisdiction. At first you should talk to Monolaris Holliver in Chateau de Hargui. He'll give you official orders. Step right outside and you'll see a big castle on the left. That's Chateau de Hargui. They're a little touchy in there, so mind your manners. Alright. So looks like something is up with the orcs. They have some sort of benefactor, apparently. Uh, in order for us to proceed, though, we need to go to the chateau here and speak with Halver. So make your way directly north. You can't miss the castle. And speak with Halver. An adventurer from Windust, are you? Well, you have my respect for coming all the way here. But know you this. Our kingdom of Sandoria has no intention of showing a friendly facade to either Bastok or Windust. How you classless mobs could ever think to stand shoulder to shoulder with the Elvan is frankly beyond me. Yet on you come, impertinent stuttering shrimps, lumbering oarheads, purring furballs. It's simply unacceptable. Sheesh, this guy. How rude. But enough of that. Here is your mission. Infiltrate Gelsaba outpost northwest of Sandoria. In the middle of the Gelsaba camps is a place called the Highland Encampment. We want you to defeat the camp head, a war chief. Vatkit. You'll find the encampment a little ways into Gelsaba. Go in, cross the river, and you'll see the camps, up on a ridge to the east. When you've finished, if you aren't orc fodder, report back to your own consulate. We don't take kindly to foreigners loitering around the chateau, if you get my meaning. Again, how rude. The orcs aren't so much of a problem that the kingdom need worry about sending out knights. Let the adventurers clean them out for pocket change. That is our policy. Huh. Alright, so not exactly a lovable fellow, is he? But nevertheless, we have our mission. Head out the Sandorian Gate into West Runfar, into Gelsaba Outpost. And make your way to this roundabout location here. And try to find War Chief Vatkit. Now, I was actually here looking for this guy, and there was another individual also looking for him. So we decided to team up and wait for him to, well, respawn. As you can probably imagine, this NM is constantly being murdered. <laughs> so, uh, we have to take our, our turn to, to get him. But, while waiting around to find him, he actually popped in front. I provoked him, and we engaged the fight. This fight is laughably easy at level 33. We actually picked up another person that also needed the fight. So, we all teamed up and took him down. So, get the job done and head back to the consulate. Welcome back. I trust you weren't hurt. I heard from the Monalaris that you went to fight the great war chief Gvatkit. A great many adventurers see Gelsba outposts on missions, but most turn back at the Highland encampment. You've done well. I'm proud to be your consul. I'll formally request the Sandorian court to certify you, Axon, as an official adventurer. Now all you have to do is to get recognition from Bastok, 
Keep your wits about you and you'll be fine. Nice. An official adventure. Okay. Well, that completes the leg of the Sandorium part of this mission. Let's get a refresh on our signet and make our way to Bastok. For this, I'm going to shout out for a tele to the Crag of Dem. Now, you could have also have used a uh, tele-taxi for the Crag of Hala and make your way to Sandoria. But I decided to take the Mora Ferry route because, well, I just needed to fish a little bit. <laughs> Once at the Crag of Dem, grab a chocobo or walk. In my case, I'm going to walk. I was rather low on funds and, well, didn't want to... <laughs> Didn't want to spend any gill. <laughs> so, so I walked. Went to North Gusterberg. And from North Gusterberg into South Gusterberg. And finally into Bastok Markets. In Bastok Markets, make your way to Metalworks. Take the elevator. And on the upper level, make a sharp left into the consulate. Head straight back and speak with Pat Pot. Oh, you're the adventurer with the letter of introduction, yes? It's good of you to come. It must have been a long journey riding a boat to a faraway place like this. I studied hard to become a consul, hoping to be waited on by cutesy secretaries, but my fate was to be delegated to this neck of the woods. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't tell anyone I said that, please. <laughs> I mean, you can't blame me. I'm surrounded by musky humes and scary galakas instead of cutesy, uh, you know. Oh my god, this guy. Oh, Megiddo, we have a guest here. Shouldn't you be serving tea? What tea? We ran out of tea months ago. Oh. <laughs> Why haven't you refilled our stock? How many times have I told you? Uh, sir, would you like me to go out and buy some? Hmm, well, now that you mention it, I don't remember seeing anyone selling tea here. Hmm? You don't care about tea, you say? You want to hear about the mission? Oh, bother. I'm sorry. As greasing people's, I mean, trying to make people happy has become a habit. It's part of the job. <laughs> uh, anyway, here's what you have to do. Oh, that is, let's see. Topuru. What was it we were supposed to ask? Uh, what? Did you call me, sir? Oh, there you are. You were making yourself so small, I didn't see you. <laughs> The mission, the mission man, the mission. <laughs> you know, for the adventure from Windurst, I know how homesick you are, but I expect you to do your share while you're here. Uh, I think it had something to do with going to the Palboro Mine, sir. Oh, I remember now. The Quadov are acting strangely. So the adventure is to go to the Palboro Mines to investigate. That's very vague, and aren't the Palboro Mines overrun by Quadov? Isn't that dangerous? Well, reports from Windows say that beastmen of all different types seem to be exhibiting the same type of organized behavior. This is what we need to investigate, sir. But first, the adventurer is to meet with Sir Pius in the President's office. Ah, yes, Pius. Sir Pius. I think we have dinner once, or perhaps it was brunch? No matter. To work, then. Good luck. Come back when you're done. Okay, so... <laughs> that craziness out of the way... <laughs> <laughs> Let's make our way to uh, speak with Pius in the president's office, here on the same level. Yes, what is it? Ah, you are the envoy from Windurst. Go speak to a Galka named Gram. He was part of an expedition that tried to reclaim the Pablo Mines from the Quad of once before. He should be in the Craftsman's Eatery in the Metalworks. Why are you still here? The musketeers are usually charged with giving out missions, and frankly, I find this kind of work tedious. But since you are an envoy, you are under my jurisdiction. Still, I can't help but wonder what you Windurstians' true motives are. Then again, you're going willingly into that quad of ridden place. So I can't complain, even if you do turn out to be a spy. Well, anyway, you want to speak with Grom, in the Metalworks Eatery. Good luck to you. Oh, and when you're done with your investigation, report directly to your consulate. That is our protocol. I would be rather annoyed if you'd come back here. Sheesh. Man, these people. All right. So we got to go speak to a fellow Galka named Grom. And he's located at the Craftsman's Eatery. Head straight back the way we came towards the elevator. 
And let's make a quick left right here. And this is the Craftsman's Eatery. And Grom is right ahead. Hmm? What do you want? Hey, you're not from Bastok, are you? What? You're Windurstian? And you listened to what a Bastokian official told you to do? Ha! I have no idea why that Hume sent you here. Or why your consulate sent you to him in the first place. You better listen good. A lot of us died trying to win the Powerball Mines back from the Quadov. It might not matter to a foreigner like you, but they always send us Galka to do the dirty work. What gets me the most is that they don't even think about it twice. Even if you haven't been here long, you must have seen how they treat us. Never mind. Shouting at you won't change anything. You wanted to know about the Beastmen, right? I've heard rumors that those dumb Quadov are acting organized. There's even talk that they have a leader now. Like in the Great War. Oh, and there's a strange magic circle in the deepest end of the Palboro Mines. It's said that whoever goes beyond it never comes back. Sounds real suspicious, doesn't it? I'm sure you'll find your answers there. Wonderful. Me? Oh no, I'm never going back there. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Okay. So, off to the Palboro Mines we go. Future Abe here from the editing desk. Now, unfortunately, at the time of this fight, I did not capture my trek up to the Palboro Mines, but I did capture the route recently well after the fact, uh, so I can incorporate it here in the video. So to head off to the Palboro Mines, to start from Port Bastock, let's head out the north gate into North Gustaberg. From there, make our way to the northeastern corner of that map into Palboro Mines. Follow this route to get to the elevator. There are some obstacles in the way, so this is the preferred route. Once we reach the elevator, click on the lever to call the elevator, get inside, click the lever again, and it will take you to the third floor of the Palmer Mines. From this level, work your way through this burnt out section of the map. Following this route, again, there are blocked passages and obstacles in the way. And once you get through all that, You'll be at the Wagroon Shrine. As you approach, you'll see a burning circle. And this is where we start the fight. Back to the video. Now, unfortunately, it was some time later when, was, when I was able to get a group together to go and uh, tackle this BCNM fight. BCNM being the burning circle fight, which is this thing in the, in the center here. Now, this fight is capped at level 25. And you will need a group of people to beat it. Luckily, some members of my Link Shell and some other parties that were interested were able to get together so we can get this fight done a few days after. Once at the Burning Circle, and everyone's ready, we begin. <laughs> I'm glad you could come! I didn't realize that little rumor I spread would be so effective. Yes, I'm the new leader of the Beastmen. I will lead the Beastmen hordes on a grand campaign to rid the world of you and your kind. The day of reckoning will come, and the Beastmen will be the ones to rule this world. Ah, but you won't be there to see it, because you will already be dead. Arise, worm of darkness, devourer of light. I command you, smite my enemies where they stand. First the Beastmen, and now this? Quite a mission this is turning out to be. But there's only one way to end it. Alright, so it looks like they're already in the midst of a battle, and we just happen to be showing up. So, let's see how this unfolds. We got our group together, buffed up and ready to go. And once we enter the battlefield, we will encounter the Seeker and the Dark Dragon which he summons. Now in this fight, we'll be facing off both... The strategy in this case is for the melee attackers to quickly go and take out the Seeker, which is a black mage. He is the more formidable of the two. And then focus our attention to the dragon. And so that's what we did. Oh man, he gave me some doo-doo in the face. Oh no, he gave me some fire in the face. But he is now down. 
All right, so we clearly wrecked this monster quickly. This cannot be. Me defeated by these weaklings? Oops, I guess I missed the show. Hey, wait a minute. This dragon. No doubt about it. It's another beast from the Northlands. What's it doing here? Their kind haven't been seen ever since the Shadow Lord was destroyed and the Northlands sealed. To see one here, with the Beastmen, it is as if the Shadow Lord would soon be brought back to this world. I was merely making preparations for his return. What? Who are you? I am Seeker, the servant of the Shadow Lord. The great hero that saved you 20 years ago is gone. None have the power to defeat him now. While your people were busy squabbling with each other, we have been preparing for his return. And when he comes, he will destroy you all. Enjoy your lives while they last, foolish weaklings. <laughs> <laughs> the Shadow Lord is coming back? There's going to be another war. Our days will be filled with hatred and sorrow once more. Enter Ayame, and I call myself a musketeer, that I would let myself be hit like that. Thank you for helping me. I'm Ayame, of the Mithril Musketeers. I would be dead were it not for you. We received reports of strange beastman activity in this area, so I was sent here to investigate. I did not expect to run into... that. I must go back and report. We'll meet again, adventurer. May you travel safely. Alright. Looks like she used a warp scroll. Alright, so clear time, 2 minutes 58 seconds. We received a kindred crest. And after saying my thanks to the group collected here, headed back. Headed back to Metalworks and to the console. Future AP here again. Quick editor's note. As an option to get back to Bastok. Upon completion of the fight, make your way north at the Wargroon Shrine exit and head to this point here where you will find two boats. Take the furthest boat, get on it, click on the lever, and it will take you to the Zeroon Mines. From there, it's a quick walk into Bastok Mines. Back to the video. Ah, welcome back. I see you're still in one piece. Toporo will write down your report. Tell him what you've seen. Oh my, is that true? Oh my, oh my! It's simply amazing that you could run into such a monster and not be pounded into adventurer soup. Don't you think so, Toporu? What? Uh, right. I guess so, sir. Oh, let me guess. You were thinking about Windus again, weren't you? Snap out of it, man. You have work to do. <laughs> I'm totally butchering this voiceover. <sighs> Windus. <laughs> well, you can't say I didn't try. Ah, but you will report that all of us are working exceptionally hard here, yes? Since you visited both Sandoria and Bastok, you may now make your triumphant return to Windurst. Oh, and tell everyone we said hi. Okay. Alright, so now we have our kindred report. And with all the various legs of this mission completed, let's head back to Windurst Walls, into Heaven's Tower, and speak once again with Kapoopy. Welcome back, adventurer. Hmm, what is that you have there? Is it a present? Oh, your report. You were told to deliver it to the Star Sybil. I see. Well, we can't have common adventurers like you dirtying up our sacred towers, so I will take your report to the Star Sybil myself. Hmm? You're still here? You say you're entitled to some kind of certificate. Oh, yes! It must have slipped my mind. Here is your adventurer certificate. Now you are a full-fledged adventurer. You're still here? You can go home now. <laughs> and with that, we obtained rank three. We now have an adventurer certificate and obtained 3,000 gil. Well, I'm gonna leave that there for now, folks. Thank you all very much for watching. My name's Abe. Catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.